One of the things out there that can really frustrate and demotivate a new rifle shooter is trying to figure out bullet trajectory at longer ranges when you don't have any references to go off of. Uh, this is something that can be easily remedied by having a reference card made up. And here is my reference card for my AR-15 based off of M855 ammo, 5.56 ammo, 62 grain, the green tip stuff. This is a basic range trajectory card from 100 meters to 800 meters with a 300 meter zero. That's what I have my AR-15 zeroed at right now. I also have wind drift because I live in the state of Montana and wind drift uh, is something that you really need to pay attention to. It's always windy here. So for example, this range card right here, let's say I wanted to make a 500 meter shot. I can look at this range card and go at 500 meters, I can expect 42 inches of drop and depending on my wind drift, which is you know my wind speed, if I have a 10 mile an hour wind either coming from the left or the right, I can expect my bullet to move 38 inches one way or another. Now this is just an estimation card. This isn't going to give you the specifics because there's a lot of variables out there. Uh, weather, barometric pressure, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there that's going to vary your bullet impact by a few inches here or there. You can go online, um, what is it, JBM Vortex Optics has a site too or has a page on their uh, website that you can enter in all the specific data, bullet coefficient, your barrel, bullet weight, bullet tight, all this good stuff and it'll get you a lot closer to point of impact at longer ranges. But a simple range card like this will give you a really good starting point. You can do this for any firearm, you can do it for a pistol if you want to. And the biggest reason for having a reference card like this is just because of the fact that we forget things. This is a lot of numbers, even this, this is a lot of numbers to remember in your head. So I'd rather have this card handy so that way if I forget that, oh, at let's say 700 meters, if I forget there's around 156 inches of drop for a 62 grain bullet at 700 meters, I could just whip this card out and go, okay, that's right. And then you can go ahead and make your aiming guesstimations off that. So again, a lot of people don't think of that. What I see a lot of newer shooters do is when they're taking their shots at a far off target, they'll just sit there and try and aim, aim off into space somewhere. They'll see their round hit and then they'll try and aim somewhere else. And then their round will hit somewhere else and usually it's really counterproductive and they really don't hit the target. So again, a lot of resources are available online. If you just type in, you know, trajectory cards, range estimation cards, all that good stuff, you can find stuff. There's a lot of good stuff out there, depending on the rifle you have, the ammo, the type of ammo you're using, uh, whether you're hand loading, commercial ammo, all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Hope you guys can benefit from this little tip. I know a lot of the longer range shooters out there, you can ask uh, some of the longer range shooters, like Surgical Precision, Civilian Marksman, uh, 300 rum, all those guys that do really long range shooting, they can even tell you that having a good estimation card will get you at least in the area. Uh, once you're in the area and getting your rounds in the area where you want it, then you can fine tune depending on conditions and whatnot. So thank you for watching and keep your powder dry.